The winter transfer window is open and clubs around Europe can sign and sell players for the whole month of January. It opened on Monday, January 1st, and lasts until the winter transfer deadline in all major European leagues on Thursday, February 1st. At the same time, clubs can now sign pre-contracts with players who have their contracts expiring in the summer, opening new scenarios and opportunities. For those players in the final months of their current deal, they are eligible to sign pre-contract agreements with certain other clubs in January, tying them down to a new destination for the coming campaign. That means we could see something of a scramble for some big names this January. 12. Mehdi Taremi, striker Porto. Possible destinations, AC Milan, Manchester United, Inter Milan. Considering how many teams are searching for a center forward this month, it wouldn't be shocking if Porto made a few euros by selling Taremi now, instead of waiting to lose him in the summer for free. The Iranian striker has not been as effective this year. He has only scored three goals in the Portuguese league, but his career record is still quite remarkable with 79 goals and 42 assists in 144 league appearances. Inter Milan is renowned for its zeal, whereas AC Milan may be more cautious now that Porto played tough with them last summer. Manchester United has also been mentioned, although that is quite obvious. 11. Rafael Varane, centre-back Manchester United. Possible destinations, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Saudi Pro League. United want to keep Varane, but not enough to exercise their option to extend his current contract until the summer of 2025. That's because the Frenchman makes a fortune. They will make him an offer, but on less favorable conditions. Which is unlikely to sound appetizing, especially given the presence of Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. 10. Mario Hermoso Centre-back, left-back, Atletico Madrid. Possible destinations, Juventus, Nottingham Forest, Tottenham. Mario Hermoso, a versatile 28-year-old defender, has been a key component of Atletico Madrid's success this season. He can play in the midst of Diego Simeone's back line or out on the left, and he excels in a variety of areas. He has been at the club since coming in 2019 as Espanyol's record sale, but if Atletico do not lock him down long term, he might find a new home. There hasn't been much talk about it. 9. Wilfred Ndidi, central midfielder, Leicester City. Possible destinations, Barcelona, Tottenham, Celtic. When Leicester City was relegated from the Premier League last season, it looked like the club might lose some significant assets. Midfielder Wilfred Ndidi, in contrast, has stayed and has flourished this season, illustrating valuable skills in attacking third build-up, as well as his usual strength as a defensive midfielder. Barcelona and Tottenham, both of which have midfield voids due to injury, might be interested in signing the 26-year-old in January, given that his contract is set to expire in the summer. The Foxes, who currently top the championship table, will have to decide whether to keep Ndidi for a promotion drive or to get a transfer price for his services. If they make him available, he could be a hot commodity in the thin winter window. But if not, he could leave for free in the summer, regardless of whether the club secures Premier League promotion or not. 8. Geraldo Becker, striker, Union Berlin. Possible destinations, West Ham, Fulham, Burnley, Everton. Following Union Berlin's surprising Champions League qualifying last summer, 29-year-old striker Geraldo Becker was kept in-house by his club for the final year of his contract. Becker, a terrific finisher with lightning-quick pace, led the way last season with 11 goals and 7 assists, but it's all come crumbling down this season as Union struggles on numerous fronts. Becker has yet to score in league play this season, but he has had little action he would be an excellent addition to a squad with strong build-up play, with a number of Premier League clubs potentially renewing their interest from the summer. 7. Valentin Barco, left-back, Boca Juniors. Possible destinations. Man City, Chelsea, Brighton. Valentin Barco, 19, is on the verge of a transfer to Europe after helping lead Boca Juniors to the brink of Copa Libertadores gold but eventually falling short. 
Manchester City has long been linked with him, but the defending Premier League winners face heavy competition. Unlike the majority of the other players on this list, Barco is available in the winter since his South American club contract expires at the end of the calendar year with the end of their domestic season. Brighton sought to activate his release clause in the summer, but were unsuccessful, and now larger teams in England are interested. 6. Piotr Zielinski, central midfielder, Napoli. Possible destinations, Liverpool, Inter, Juventus, Barcelona. Piotr Zielinski, a 29-year-old Poland international who plays midfield and is dynamic and progressive, is definitely a coveted player. Just months after turning down Al-Hilal to sign a one-year agreement with his present club in the summer, Zielinski may be on the move shortly, as Napoli appears to be regressing from their peak performance of the previous campaign. This winter, goalie players will almost certainly be connected to Barcelona, and Zielinski is no exception. However, there have been reports of interest from Liverpool and other major Italian clubs in other Serie A players. This is because the league has a tendency to steal top players from inside its own ranks. 5. Anthony Marshall, striker, Man United. Possible destinations, Saudi Pro League, Juventus, Marseille. Marshall's trade value can be preserved if Manchester United chooses to add another year to his deal. It tells you a lot about the striker's predicament that they don't appear to know if it would be better to let him go for nothing. Even though he has had brief periods of success since joining United eight years ago, Marshall has never been able to sustain consistent form and conditioning. He has been Rasmus Hoylund's backup in 2023-2024. During his most recent Premier League debut at Newcastle United, he put on a listless display that earned him criticism from his boss from the sidelines. Martial could still have a future at Old Trafford, but United may well decide they are better off getting his significant wages off the books. In fact, his salary has scared off prospective buyers in the past. According to ESPN, only the wealthy Saudi Pro League expressed a genuine interest in signing him last summer. He would be more desirable as a free agent, although Juventus may be looking to add a new striker. 4. Presnel Kimpembe, centre-back, PSG. Possible destinations, Chelsea, Juventus. Presnel Kimpembe, who is 28 years old, has spent his whole career in the French capital after growing up through the club's development system. However, following two consecutive seasons marred by injuries, including an Achilles tendon that has prevented him from playing since February, the France international needs a change of scenery. Before Kimpembe signed a new one-year contract at PSG this past summer, Chelsea and Juventus were reportedly interested. However, it appears he will go on this time. Although Kimpembe is a gifted center defender who can make an immediate impact on whatever team he joins, there is a danger of injury associated with this decision. If he can find a new Champions League club and stay on the pitch, he'll be a quality signing for anyone in Europe. 3. Adrian Rabiot Central midfielder, Juventus. Possible destinations, Man United, Newcastle, Barcelona. Adrian Rabiot, a French midfielder, signed a one-year contract extension to stay in Italy after initially appearing to be on the approach of joining Manchester United on a free transfer last summer. That only put off the talk of a move for around half a year. And now that Rabiot is free to sign elsewhere, the rumors are starting to swirl once more. The 28-year-old may decide to stay in Turin once again, but he might also start talking to Man United again or sign with a side that is struggling with injuries, like Newcastle United or Barcelona. Rabiot, who has established himself as a regular in the France setup in addition to his typical starting berth at Juventus, has a lot of alternatives with his erratic mother serving as his agent. 2. Guido Rodriguez, defensive midfielder, Real Betis. Possible destinations, Barcelona, Man United, Atletico Madrid. The 29-year-old midfielder Guido Rodriguez has long been an unimportant member of the Argentina team, 
but as the summer of 2024 approaches, major clubs will be keeping an eye on him as a free agent due to his impressive club and national accomplishments. Rodriguez is a true number six, and he is very good at protecting the back line. It appeared that he would be to Atletico Madrid, but things have become more difficult as Barcelona had to consider its alternatives after losing Gavi. Real Betis may be persuaded to sell in order to avoid losing him for nothing, but they are also vying for a spot in Europe, so his departure would be devastating to that chase. 1. Kylian Mbappé, attacker PSG. Possible destinations. Real Madrid, Liverpool. Once again, Kylian Mbappé's future is in doubt for the third year in a row. Far and away the most coveted free agent of the 2024 summer transfer window, Kylian Mbappé has long been rumored to be heading to Real Madrid. After what happened last summer, when the player announced his decision to play his last season at the French club, but refused to extend his deal until 2025, Mbappe at the end stayed at PSG despite the rumors and interest coming from Real Madrid. It's still unclear what will happen with him in the coming months, but him getting his deal to end in 2024 is a way out. Will he stay and extend his deal with PSG? Will Real Madrid finally sign him in the summer? Will other clubs jump in the race for the French star? There are many more excellent players that might be candidates to sign pre-contract agreements come January. Even if this list only includes the top 12 players who are most likely to attract attention from rival teams. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.